Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Tackle Tip Tuesday. Uh, last week we did rattle traps, lipless crankbaits, whatever you want to call them. It depends which company you like. Uh, but I guess technically they're lipless crankbaits. This week, we'll talk about soft plastic color. In general, the exo stick. Which color exo stick to throw? Um, if you can see here, I have four colors. Does that mean that's all I ever throw? No. But in general, I feel like this this box right here, I can go to any lake and catch some fish on them. Um, real simple. So here's what we got. And this is what I believe will get you through almost anywhere. So starting out, green pumpkin, basic green pumpkin. Watermelon red flake. Super secret, black and blue. And the June bug. Can't forget the June bug. A lot of people don't like June bug for some reason. I, I like it. Um, I started catching them on at Lake Conway a long time ago. I've always thrown a June bug. So primarily, this is, and this goes for a lot of my plastics, but this is, these are the four main colors I'm gonna put. And the reason why is you gotta think about what bait fish, or what bait fish, what bass eat out on the lake. Um, and then you gotta think about where you're fishing these. Um, primarily, they're gonna be eating shad which I don't really try to imitate a shad too much with an exo stick. Maybe if I'm wacky rigging it. I, I do have some white ones, but they're in my shoe boxes. If you click back to some old videos, you'll see those, um, how I organize those. But it's mainly going to be bluegill, shad, and crawdads. You know, things crawling on the bottom. Maybe some bad, maybe baby bass and stuff, but primarily. So that's kind of what you're imitating. And so watercolor has a lot to do with which color exo stick you throw. For me... 90% of the time, because if I'm throwing an exo stick, it's kind of a, a tough situation. It's, I need a bite, it's you know cleaner water, it's tough. I like a watermelon red, watermelon red flake, 95% of the time. I'll go to this first, even in muddy water. People say you can't catch my watermelon red in muddy water, that's false. I've caught them in coffee water before. You know, it looks like, uh, not coffee water, milk chocolate. You know, um, what am I saying, milk chocolate? Chocolate milk, whatever, it's, it's early, sorry guys. Um, now, if it's cloudy, uh, you know, this, this is primarily people talk about throwing watermelon red in clear water, and that's true for the most part. This is usually what I start with. Now, if it's cloudy in uh, muddier water, or just uh, sometimes even on clear water, if it's cloudy, it, I will go to a, a green pumpkin. This is usually kind of my second choice. Now, if I, if I get in, if I pull up to a body of water, and it is that, you know, chocolate milk, that super nasty stuff, I am going to go with one of these two. Now, You'll have to experiment with this. Um, I catch them on both June bug and uh, black, black and blue. Uh, so it's just kind of, you know, it depends. Um, somebody's water, they like the June bug. Lake Conway in Arkansas, they like June bug. I don't know why, but they like June bug a lot. And then I'll go black and blue. So clear water, sunny, clear water, watermelon red, clear water. And this is just a, you know, just my opinion, um, it can change. I've done different things, but 90% 90, 90 of the time, clear water, you got watermelon red, clearer water, you know, cloudy, rainy, green pumpkin. You get into your stuff, Arkansas River, you go with your darker color, that's an exo stick. You know, you're looking at your green, or not your green, your black, and blue flake, your June bugs. I have noticed this before. I don't know if there's anything to it. June bug for me works better around lily pads than black and blue. Black and blue works better for me around like wood. I don't know what, I, I don't have an idea why, but it seems to work work best for me. So that's, that's, how, that's my four main colors, guys. That's what I carry in the boat with me. Um, if it's tough and you're throwing exo sticks, just trying to get some bites, you don't want to have to switch through a ton of colors. You know, you want to be able to switch, you want to have just four or five colors that you have confidence for, for yourself with. And for me, it's them right there. Watermelon Red, Green Pumpkin, June Bug, Black and Blue. Check them out. Exo Stick from Biospawn. Appreciate you guys watching. It's Tackle Tip Tuesday. See y'all next week. Thanks, guys.